17 or 17. There you go. Thank you. 
At this time, I present to you our candidate, our strong candidate tonight. The will of the people, for the people, 
Teresa Austin Stokes. Good evening, good evening. I'm um, giving honor to God. It's by the grace. Okay. Good evening, everyone. I don't know about you, but I am proud of the race that was run. I am proud to get the result, being a, to be a first time a runner, to run against a millionaire on a grassroots campaign. I am proud of the result. I am proud to have the support of the citizens because that's why I'm here. It wasn't a lot of money. It was the people coming out to support me. I am proud to stand before you to tell you that it ain't over. I might not have won the mayor's race, but there's still much work to do. And again, I am proud to have represented you as a candidate for mayor for the city of Rocky Mount. Though it was downplayed, history has been made. Yes. An impact has already been done. The first female, the first African American female. And I hope this inspires many females to come forward. Was this race easy? No. But again, the results, very proud of the results. I have to take time, what a lot of people don't know, my roots in this city grow deep. My roots in this area grow wide. I have to take a moment to remember my mom and dad, who grew, who uh, we were, a lot of people don't know, my parents were sharecroppers over um, in Red Oak, where racism still exists today. Not just in Red Oak, but my roots are deep in knowing how um, this city and this um, area to see the growth, but to not overlook those who have lived in this city for years and not to be pushed out, being that they have contributed as well. So my heart continues to be to fight for the people and to do what's right, but I cannot fight alone. I cannot fight alone. Just think about it. I am proud of the results because a lot of people did not know we were even in a runoff. And that was not by accident. Um, I'm in awe. I'm just in awe to be even able, able to stand here before you. Um, I want, it's so many people I've got to thank. Um, I don't want to leave anyone out, but I will say this morning, um, I knew a couple of my family, they were going to drive in. But to see my family, that, I want you all to meet my family. They travel from far. They travel from Maryland. They were out walking on and meeting people. I want to thank those of you who were with me from the beginning, giving me encouragement. And from the beginning, uh, Miss Antoinette, uh, two years ago, uh, when she came to me and uh, even put the idea about God, uh, me running, and she never told the other part. I laughed at her when she said that. <laughs> but throughout the two-year period, um, there were signs there. And I continued to... Um, Hey, I ignored them until it was time to file. Yeah. But I am proud that I was obedient to follow through. And I say again, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm still going to be here for the city. And we're still going to fight together because there's much work to do. Again, I just want to thank each and every one. I don't even know where to start. And I don't want to leave anyone out. But do know from the bottom of my heart, I appreciate each and every one of you. So who's with me to continue this fight as we continue to represent the city? As we continue to not overlook those who are being underserved, not overlook the communities who are not giving the funding that they, they need. Because overall, together, we are Rocky Mount. It ain't a, 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 what, one side over the other, but we are Rocky Mountain. We're going to go forth and continue to grow this city together. 
Um, I just want to, I don't want to be babbling, but I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity. But again, I am proud to stand before you and say thank you for your support. And let's continue to do the work that's ahead for all of us. Thank you so much. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone have any words to say? Feel free yeah, to do I, so. Okay. You know, I got some words to say. You know, I got some words to say. Uh, one thing that, that uh, when she walked over, right. when she walked over here, she looked at me and she said, it wasn't about what I did. It wasn't about where I come from, the way that I got here Thank you. is by grace. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way she started off. Mm. You know, mm. she she came and she did it. She admitted it was by His grace, mm. and we thank you because of His grace that she is here today. And the race begins right, right. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll say it. You ain't. You can't do all of that. What I was said in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. And again, there were a lot of people who sacrificed their time, sacrificed their time in order to help. And I don't want to take anyone for granted. I, I want to thank my team. Don't see what I want to thank my team for standing by me, seeing the good and the bad, <laughs> and also um, just being by my side. I want to thank my team. Um, I would love for you all to come up and get a picture or something. I don't see the whole team. But the fact that the support system, and I truly know the prayers, the prayers went up, the prayers went up um, wholeheartedly. But again, let's go out and continue to fight. Let's continue to fight for what's right man. for the citizens of Rocky Mount. Mm -hmm. We got you, man. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I don't see the thing. Okay. stand together and do our part. And there are some out there that didn't do their part. And we got to go get them and make sure the next time that they do their part. Because you went above and beyond. And I want you to put a smile on oh, your yes. face. Yes. <laughs> I want you to hold your head up. Because you know who you are. Yep. Mm -hmm. And the people recognize mm -hmm. you for who you are. Right. Mm -hmm. But most of all, God have recognized mm -hmm. and know before you was in your mother's mm -hmm. womb, he mm -hmm. knew that this day was coming. And he knew that the day is coming because he said it. And I still believe it. I still believe the dream. I still believe the vision. Mm -hmm. And I was just the mouthpiece mm -hmm. to get the message to you. Mm -hmm. But you was the one. Even though you waited to the end and you had me mad <laughs> and shaking in my boots. Mm -hmm. But you know what? You still answer the call. Mm -hmm. And that's all that matters. And you have shown the world mm -hmm. that you're a winner. Mm -hmm. You're a fighter. Yes. And guess what? Mm -hmm. We're going to stand behind you mm -hmm. even the more. Mm -hmm. And like you said, 
all of that is behind you now. When something like this happens, yes, things get a little crazy. But we know who our God is. And we trust and believe in him. I'm so proud of you, Teresa. Thank you. And I love you. Thank you. I love 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 you. Hmm? Come on, Cleo. You can say it, okay? <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> that was it. We're going to drive back to Richmond. I have class tomorrow. Oh my God! Y'all going that way? Oh, uh, Richmond. It's only two hours. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, How long? Mm-hmm. It's Vincent Ty. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> Don't leave. She waited to the last minute. But we was all still behind her. And we love you. And like I say, you're a winner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hang your head mm-hmm. up high. Mm-hmm. You're a winner. Okay. okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm-hmm. Don't leave. Thank you. Hello. Um, I just want to tell Teresa. I started with her from the beginning. And, um, when we was talking on the phone, I told Teresa I want her to run for mayor because I think she would have did a awesome bang up job here in Rocky Mountain. Mm-hmm. Because she do so much here. She do more than the mayor himself does. Mm-hmm. So I just want to tell Teresa I'm proud of you. Mm-hmm. And you still made history, baby. You keep your head up high. Yeah. But you never let nobody tell you you can't do nothing. <laughs> because you actually did it. And, yeah. I love you. <laughs> and I'm just keep pushing. All right, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay. Right. Feeding one. Everyone's coming. Okay, where y'all at? Where y'all at? Thank y'all for coming. Wait a minute. Thank y'all for coming. Where is Tula? Where does she go? Oh, y'all be safe. I'm so glad. It's still. I don't remember really history, so it's still in there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Defeat <laughs> is in the eyes of the beholder. All right, mm-hmm. But in our eyes, in God's eyes, you are a winner. Mm-hmm. This door is closed for the moment for a higher assignment that you had. Mm-hmm. Over the mayor, you need to look for position over him. Mm-hmm. Start your campaign now and put it out there. Mm-hmm. That got this moment. Watch what God is going to do because they cheated, they stole, and they did all these things. God is not pleased. So he has a place for you above the mayor. Mm -hmm. Ground yourself, step out, sister, and know your family is here. And that's only 1% of it. Your family is here. He won. He did not win tonight. He just got God's eyes on him. Mm-hmm. And he got other people there. And the thing about it is, once again, in our eyes, you are a, a, a winner. Rise, my sister. Arise. Mm-hmm. And walk in the light that God has given you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> You're fine. Mm-hmm. I, I think this is excellent for the first time that she's running. Thank so you. This race is so close. Mm-hmm. All right. But my message is that we have to look for trends in the city. And one of the trends that I want to point out to you is that there's a, a, a very strong right-wing trend uh, mm-hmm. coming along in the city. Mm-hmm. We have two black council people that have betrayed us. Mm-hmm. All right. And that's why this race is crucial. And I wish you had won, but since you did, we cannot give up the fight. Which means that all of us have to stand by her, be there at city council, say what we need to say, push them to do the right thing, and shame them for more cowardice, okay? So we need, we still need to continue to fight no matter what. And 
even if Teresa did win the male race, we need to be there to give her the support she needs because she's going to face a lot of backlash. Yeah. So all in all, I'm just saying is that we've got to be aware of the trend in council and that what the trend has been doing is that they've been pushing poor people and people of color further down and down the, po the, the pole. And I have challenged the mayor several times and tell him to make rise, raising people out of poverty his priority. And he didn't say anything to that. All right, people are suffering because of inflation, unemployment, lack of health care, edu education, uh, debt, deep in debt, right? And all he cares about is building this damn uh, judicial center. I'm sorry, but you know, he wants to spend our money to build the judicial center. Okay. Whereas he should be using the money to help people. Okay, so I'm just saying we've got to have this good fight because unless we're there to stop him, they're going to continue to push that right wing right. politics mm -hmm. on us. Okay, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Thank you. My favorite scripture is Romans 8.28. My favorite scripture is Romans 8.28. That all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord. We've all had our share of ups and downs in life. And sometimes the, the downs we would think, well, Boy, things can't get any worse. But in the fullness of time, as God has moved in a mighty way, I've seen it all come to fruition. As bad as it may seem at the at this time. There's times in life that you just have to trust his hand. When we can't trace it and track it, we just have to trust it. This is truly a faith walk mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we walk by faith mm -hmm. and not by sight mm -hmm. so Teresa my little girl mm -hmm. my sister continue to look to the hills from which cometh your help knowing that all of your help is coming from the Lord mm -hmm. You're going to continue to serve God's people, whether you have a title or not. Amen. Mm -hmm. So just continue to uh, walk tall. Mm -hmm. In this room, we love you. Mm -hmm. And we support you with our whole heart. So just continue to, to be strong. Mm -hmm. And uh, we know that the best is yet to come. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. And that as a community, we haven't seen nothing Anything yet. yet. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't know the fire this yeah. little lady has. Mm -hmm. And this little lady, for the past, um, I've known her since she was a child, about eight years old, seven or eight years old. But I have seen her mature in Christ, and I've seen her grow leaps and bounds. She has really, really become a giant. It started out, she may have been, uh, been, been, been just uh, um, a small fry, a, <laughs> a big fry. But in the end, sister, you are victorious. Mm -hmm. I am. This has never been done before. Mm -hmm. Brother Dance and I, I think we've been around the table longer than anyone in this room. We've been around this table since 1981. Over 40 years, we've been fighting for Rocky Mount mm -hmm. citizens. And this has never happened like this mm -hmm. before. A person of color didn't have a ghost of a chance winning an at-large election. Mm -hmm. There's people that sleep and beneath the tombs, such as the late attorney Antonia Lawrence, mm -hmm. the late Mrs. Vivian Tilton, mm -hmm. 
the late Mrs. Mary and John Perry, the late Mrs. Genotra Penny, and the late Mrs. Helen Gay. They are asleep beneath the tomb, but I got a feeling I can feel them here now because you've made history. The late Phil White. So just, just walk in this season that you're in now. And we stand with you because anyone could have done it, but God chose you to lead the way. So we know that God is up to something. Amen. So continue to be obedient. And he's promised you in his word, and this is a promise, that he will never leave you nor forsake you. That he would be with you to the end. So sister, I admonish you right now to stand still and wait on the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Oh, 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 oh. The proud of you. Thank you. For the tenacity that you have shown. And to this there's a story about a young boy the storm. He was on the beach. And as he walked the beach, he saw a small fish that the waves had washed up out of the water. And Teresa, he began to throw the small fish back in the water. And a man came by and asked him, what are you doing? Uh -huh. He never said a word. Uh -huh. The man said, Don't you know the sun is going to destroy uh -huh. all of them? The little boy kept moving and taking over small fish that he saw, uh -huh. throwing them back in the water. Uh -huh. As they sink and swim, the little boy looked back at the man and said, but it's going to make a difference for that one. Amen. So Teresa, you keep on walking. Everybody you get to, you tell them about the fire that burns within you. Amen. The Bible says that let your light shine. Amen. Teresa, you have the light. And to me, it was a man. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's burning. And it's going to get brown. Mm -hmm. And those that are around you mm -hmm. will see you become just like the little dogs that we see. And the question is what makes a lightning dog light up? It's the stuff that's in Amen. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I'd like for Reverend Joshua to please come forth and have a word at this time. Reverend Joshua Roberts. Come on, they'll be here. <laughs> Hey everybody. Thank you, Josh, for coming. Oh, nice. I got your sign in my front yard, and every time I take the kids out on their little bitty fake Range Rover, um, we drive. Whenever we come back to the yard, they say, they got Auntie Reese. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, in the early campaign trail for the first go round in October, mm -hmm. we had a chance to campus together, and mm -hmm. it was us, the kids, and uh, some of the other volunteers. And uh, Teresa had an opportunity to, to canvas with, beside, right alongside me, my kids, mm -hmm. and my wife. Mm -hmm. And my kids, boy, they something else now. They'll talk the head off. Ezra tried to run in the road. Teresa went right there and snatched them up <laughs> fast and saved them. 
And, and I like to look at that analogy and say how we have someone that is truly trying to save Rocky Mountain. That's right. You know, uh, yes, and she's trying to grab it before it goes off the rails. That's right. And I don't think what happened here on tonight is uh, indicative that it's not going to happen. But it's showing you that it is going to happen. Because now we got people in this room and we got work to do. Amen. So don't give up. You need to get, get on the road, the sign in sheet if it ain't here for whoever want to volunteer next year. Because we got work to do. Let's get engaged. Um, and it's got to start with our small businesses. It's got to start with our churches. It's got to start at your Thanksgiving table that's about to come up. While y'all eating that mac and cheese and everything else, y'all need to say, well, how can we make our community better? Don't put the bread down and the tea down without saying, you know what? We could have made history. But next time we gonna make history. Right. Thank, you okay. so much. thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you. Well, we got good look. Good. Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate. Oh, let me get a picture real quick. I appreciate it. Appreciate everything y'all did. Like I said, I'll chair of our Democratic Party for Nash mm -hmm. County is here, Dr. Congress. Could you come up, please? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you doing? What award is you learn what a precinct is, haven't you? Okay. You're going to learn what your precinct is. You don't already know it. You're going to give it your precinct chair. Because we have early voting coming up in February. Not only for president, governor, lieutenant, we got some things going on. And we don't need y'all to stop moving now. Okay. We don't need y'all to stop moving now. We need y'all to stay active. Mm -hmm. All right, it started with this race. Yep, it sure did. It started <laughs> with this race. And they were very surprised mm -hmm. when the Nash County Democratic Party was supporting her, which we do, in case y'all don't know. We can't support in a municipal race when you got Democrat against Democrat. But when it becomes Democrat against Republican, then I can step in with the Nash County Democratic Party. So don't don't be don't get it twisted. Nash County Democratic Party has always been behind me. I got my second vice chair, Sidney Meeks, over there. Mm -hmm. But we need y'all to stay active because the Republicans got really nervous when they saw us being active. There were more of you all coming out. And bless your heart, maybe some Republicans here. That's wonderful. Maybe some unaffiliated here. But I'm unapologetically blue, so I'm going to keep talking. There were more of us that came out. We got some major races coming out. Don't sit down. This was just a rehearsal. Okay? This was just a rehearsal. Don't go back in the home and say, I don't have anything else happening. Yes, you do. Because early voting starts in February. So y'all relax now. Get some rest now. But we got some nasty stuff coming up. It was nasty this time. It was all oh, that. Yeah. Wait a minute. It was nasty right. this time. It was nasty. it was nasty this time. It was. It was. It was really nasty this time. We had to handle some things. But we need you. So don't y'all sit down and rest. And I told Teresa, she, she can rest for this month. But I need her. I need y'all. Because we're doing some real fighting out here for real. Okay? Good job. This is just rehearsal, baby. You won. This is just rehearsal. Thank you. Love you, dear. Thank you. It's still
Tilda here, Tilda, Adrian. Adrian, Tilda, come on up. Y'all got to say something. <laughs> <laughs> Tilda and I were here um, as some of you were from the beginning. We were in the back office. Get your microphone for you. Put it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've seen, you know, all sides, you know, the crying, the smiling, the frustration and all of that and been there for that. Um, you know, to say we're proud is obvious and happy. Um, it's an understatement. Um, but I just that's my daughter. Yeah, my hope daughter. and believe that this race has uh, shown to you, you know, what is inside of you that mm. we've all seen which is why we're here supporting and rallying mm. behind you. Mm. Um, so that that does boost and build and confidence so that it can continue to grow and ignite the fire that continues to um, set others on fire mm. to see that it is possible. It has gotten here. Um, as everyone has said, yes, this door did not. Um, go the way that we intended, but it doesn't mean that that's not what God is. Um, it doesn't mean that there's not still things that can come out of this, um, greater and brighter and bigger things that are available to you. Once you see what he has placed inside of you, then that comes out. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'm going to say, that's my daughter, y'all. <laughs> society and do what you've done to this point you rank among the stars in my book you're a star because you surrendered your life to God you answered the call you're a star because you trusted God and you took the steps to receive it and you step one step at a time you're a star because you accepted what no other woman has accepted to do. And now that R in the end of that word star, we want you to take your rest. <laughs> we want you to regroup. And I know the star that you're placed in right now is going to be even higher. Mm -hmm. Even higher. I love you. Thank you. I love you. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. And to God. Be the glory. Be the glory. God is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. Right, thank y'all. Come on, if she don't want to see things to do. We would be remiss if we did not hear from this family. Natalie always has words of wisdom. <laughs> Teresa, you know, every day I've mm -hmm. been checking on you mm -hmm. and praying for God to keep you up because this was not an easy road no. mm -hmm. to ride. But girl, you held on like a champion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you held the ride all the way. Up, and you was eating his lunch. And I know you had him shivering in his boots. Uh -huh. And all that was good to me. Yes. And I'm telling you, you don't have a testimony unless you have a test. Oh, right. And this was just a test. Yeah. And you didn't fail the test. You passed it with flying Yes. And I'm sorry, you got to take it again. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, sometimes, you know, 
when the football teams out there and they're the opposition, mm-hmm. they don't all, every team doesn't win every game. Mm-hmm. You know, there's, there's there's two winners, the first place and second place. Mm-hmm. You just came in second mm-hmm. place today. Okay. And so we go back out there on the field, mm-hmm. we're gonna be pumped up and ready. Mm-hmm. And next time. Yeah, you're going to get first place. God bless you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I wanted that any of my family, my my oldest sister traveled. Um, it was true. I did not know until this afternoon. And um, just the fact that when my family came in, it was just um, extra support. So I just want to thank you all. And don't, don't hesitate to say anything. But they were champions out there too. <laughs> they encountered some things today. They had a chance to see a taste of Rocky Mount. <laughs> but, um, but I want to thank you all again, but don't hesitate. I do want to also, um, uh, this Saturday, I will be receiving a Citizens of the Year Award from the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. Um, I'm not sure if uh, you have to buy tickets, but I would appreciate the support. But that is truly an honor. And um, for those of you who are able to attend, I greatly appreciate it. And I thank the Omegas for also taking time to honor. Um, With that being said, is there anything else that we need to add? I just wanted, we have plenty of food left. Um, Am I missing? Miss Sydney. Sydney. She's been been there. Come on, 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 baby. Say a word. And um, And please, if anyone else who wants to say anything, don't hesitate. And Camilla, I know you got to say something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I love putting me on the spot. You gotta go put you on. Um, I will say that. Um, we gotta get a picture. You ran a great race. Yeah, good. I'm you were clean with it. Yes. yes. You were Don't disrespectful. Leave. Yes. Um, Wait you kept it clean and mm-hmm. you kept it classy. Mm-hmm. And I always admire people who run their races that way um, because it's easy to get ugly with people. And it's easy to, you know, be grimy and dirty and cheat your way to win. Mm -hmm. Um, But you stood strong, you stood tall. And when people were coming at you all kinds of ways, you were resilient. Um, So I want to commend you for that. Thank you. when it comes to what's next for our city, I just want everyone to be mindful that, you know, we are dealing with some trying times mm-hmm. within our city. Mm-hmm. And there's this theme of attacking black women mm-hmm. in our city. Mm-hmm. Um, we saw it firsthand with Teresa. Mm-hmm. And not to make this about me at all whatsoever, but it was behind closed doors with myself as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and so for those that believe in the power of prayer, which I do, mm-hmm. be prayerful about, you know, um, the safety of black women. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, because like Michael Meg said, we are the most disrespected mm-hmm. people in America. Yes. Yes. And so um, I would just be mindful of that. And if there is any opportunity that you can speak truth to power, continue to do so. Yeah. Um, and let's make sure that the next time we vote for City Rock, of Rocky Mountain Races, we turn out like ever. Yep. Um, because if we had turned out more in Edgecombe County, you would have won. Yep. 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 And so we got to make sure that we're doing our part. It's mm-hmm. easy to be in the room mm-hmm. and say good messages. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying we shouldn't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But there's a bigger picture here. We got to make sure people are voting. Um, and so any opportunity that we have to educate people, to have tough conversations with people. Mm-hmm. And, you know, people talk about a lot about why young people don't vote. Mm-hmm. Don't vote. But from my perspective, and this is just what I see. And when I have conversations with younger people, they don't have faith in the system anymore because people are getting elected and abusing their power. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. And so my belief is the solution to fix that is to vote. Mm-hmm. But when you have a generation of people who have lost faith mm-hmm. in the people that are supposed to guide us and carry wisdom, mm-hmm. then we have a deeper rooted issue and a problem. Mm-hmm. So let's be mindful of that. 2024 is going to be a bigger year. Um, so yeah, 
keep stand tall, stand tall, excuse me, and stay strong. And you did, you did awesome. Thank you, you so great. much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can we get a picture real quick? Did you want anyone else before? Could you take this picture real quick? Take this picture. Real quick. Make sure the light is good. Thank you. Anyone else before we close? Okay. Oh, got it. Go good. Okay. Okay. Thank you all for coming. Okay. All I have to say is it's been an absolute honor witnessing what has been happening over the past it's been an honor watching, you know, even the runoff, you know, watching the, uh, everything that you have to do. Congratulations, Teresa. Thank you. It's been an honor watching this. I mean, it's really been exciting. People have been looking at me like I'm crazy because of how excited I've been. But you don't see this happening all the time. So when you see it, you know, you have to take advantage of it. So yeah. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Thank you, Nude. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you for your support. We just gotta get the younger folks to come out here. <laughs> Again, thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um Jive Safe and Traveling Mercies. You wanna come up, sis? Okay, go ahead. You can go ahead. Oh uh, she she's okay. Come on. Thank you, really. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Um, I don't say anything, mm -hmm. but uh, I know you're tired of people that just put stuff on you. I know she's tired of me. She's gonna sleep good tonight. <laughs> but I, I, I've been out here, like you said, since mm -hmm. the 80s, and and I know how the process works. Mm -hmm. And I and I try to make uh, my candidates, mm -hmm. I try to you know make them understand what they're up against. And, and and I always play the devil advocate, so I'll be that bad guy. So. You know, I, I give them eight, <laughs> and, and, and she'll take. I know she was sick of me, but that's what you gotta do. You gotta make them strong. But I just want to say, y'all might lose. I didn't. I didn't lose. Mm. So y'all can talk about the losing. Mm. See, right. because um, you know, look at when she took him. Mm -hmm. Now he was scared. Yeah. So y'all might have lost. That's right. But I ain't lost. We didn't lose. Mm. It's good to me. <laughs> and, right. and, and and see, the fight was not against Sandy. The race was about Sandy. It was about safe Negroes. Uh, mm -hmm. is a, he's a say, he's a fake he's a fake or say okay let's okay. get this bit to okay, go. Go. i want it okay. he said that did you say fake okay okay i don't have a lot to say i just want to i know you said that it was nasty mm -hmm. but i'm just just tell jesus Whenever you are burdened, he wants you to acknowledge he is your Lord. And in the time of trouble, he's always on the double. He said he'd never leave you. He said he won't deceive you. Just tell Jesus, tell Jesus, just tell Jesus, oh, thank you, thank you so much, you're welcome, okay. Let me get a picture of y'all for y'all. Like, thank y'all so much. Yeah. Go to bed. Okay. All right. Are y'all going back to the So she would have to do it by herself? No, no. She's supposed to be Okay. All right. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Love you, You're not going to say anything about your aunt. Yeah. All right. The mind's are clear. We're going to... Let's get one more. We got one more. We're going to join hands and fold out in prayer. Go ahead and pray for Brother John Taylor. He's a doctor. John Plain. You got it? I want to grab my hair to close us out. Is Luke still here? Yep. I just want to say a couple quick things. This is my oldest nephew, y'all. What is this? Q-Sci-Fi is right. Oh, a microphone. 
what I observed from being out here at Rocky Mount um, today and what I observed on the Facebook um, over the last couple months is that my aunt was the people's candidate. And I just wanted to say one thing. Power to the people. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. All right, love you. Y'all be safe. Yeah, no? we will. Okay, y'all be safe. Okay. You get one of my sisters. Thank y'all. Um, what were we going to do now before we head out? Everyone make sure. Say prayer. Okay. Okay. Everybody be safe. And again, um, thank y'all for hanging in with me. But Money. Be here next time too. What you need? Oh Lord. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's give her a hand clap of praise. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. Mm -hmm.